I'm not, you're good, you're good, you're good. Now see how she has to co keep coming. Okay. Keep, go ahead, follow your eyes. There you go, you got it. At Burlington County's tech schools, virtual and augmented reality could be the future of education in fields like public safety, health, cars, and fabrication. We went to Medford Tech, where the county is piloting VR and AR software with a New Jersey company called Envision Innovative Solutions. We can pull up a whole bunch of different things. So you can click on the head and it'll show you head MRIs, normal, the normal brain. It'll show you like aneurysms, um, cancer, things like that. But we're not the only ones that can use this. You can click on that alligator right there and it'll pull up dogs, cats, uh, mice, tortoises. Wow. It helps out a lot because like when you're feeling around, for instance, if you want to see where the MCL is or the LCL or the ACL or PCL, you never, just feeling it and looking at an actual person, you don't really know exactly where they are. This will show you exactly where it's at on that person and you can't really mistake that. We can even perform a virtual dissection and see the inside of a human brain. Teachers say that although VR and AR use simulations, the experiences are preparing kids for the real world. I grew up in a different world. Now, now they can come in here and they can do this and they can learn it right without having to go out there and worry about the sparks hitting them, worried about the helmet coming down and not being able to see. And, and it just helps to develop it. So when they're struggling out there, they'll come in here and they'll practice and play around. With the help of virtual reality, these criminal justice students were instantly transported from their classroom to the scene of a homicide, snapping pictures of the scene and placing evidence cards. Reading in the book is one thing and then doing it in real life is another. I like how you can just like go around, look around the crime scene and like chop off the body. Yeah, it and feels, like, it feels you're like you're really actually in the scene, yeah. When you're in the VR, it feels like you're actually in the scene rather than you're just like in the crime scene room doesn't really feel real, but when you're in it, it feels real. Reporting for the Burlington County Times, I'm Gianluca D'Elia.